As you may have known, I found this beautiful mirror in the junkyard. So Gentex 221 has a compass on it. No temperature. Wish it did. Maybe I'll find one one day, which it does. We'll have to add two wires. Anyway, has compass. Cool. Upgrade. Has LED map lights. Wow, LED map lights. Look. Wow. Anyway, had a problem with this. And I just screwed it up so the lights aren't working now. Here we go. We got, we got them back on with the door open. Anyway, long story short, short stop gabbing. Uh, the factory mirror, which is a Gentex 115, has a little different wiring with the map lights. The problem is with that, i move the mirror to the side. See that little wire pin right there? Okay, this right now, with the key on, doors open, lights on. That wire is reading nothing. That wire powers the map light. So, with the door open, or door open, or with the key on, doesn't matter. Either or. Anyway, yeah, key on doesn't make anything, any sense why I keep saying that. But anyway, with the door open, that wire is reading nothing. With the door closed, now that wire will be reading. 12 volts, so the lights stayed on when the door was closed, key on, key off, did that matter? Lights stay on, lights stay on, car battery goes dead, and it operates in reverse as it should, as if it's operating now. Okay, the fix was, I don't know, it was a little tricky at first, I guess, because I'm still an electric uh, amateur, you know, I wired some stuff, I got a car radio over there, that's working, some car horns, you know, I put the other mirror in the other truck, okay. This one is just bugging me because the map lights are staying on. Everything else is plug and play on here. You get the same old wires, key on power, battery power, ground, and reverse. Same pins. All I have to do is just change that one. Um, so, problem is you have to correct this so it operates in reverse. So, how do you correct it? You can use a relay. What the hell's a relay? I don't know how to change this stuff. Yep. <laughs> It changes stuff. It's a relay race. It's the uh, Olympics. I don't know. Alright. Well, as you see, I originally had this whole little ground thing going over here. I hooked it up wrong the first time. I thought it was going to be a ground, ground, ground deal. Plus my little trigger wire. Trigger wire is light. the wire that's coming off this uh, under dash light over here. Because it's all on the same circuit. That wire has the same voltage as this at that point in time. Well, I'm not even pointing to it. Well pointing with the flashlight that was pretty dyslexic but <laughs> that wire is, has the same voltage as that and that at the same time so what I did is tapped into this wire that was already tapped because uh, it's just basically cut it was cut with the when I had an alarm on this thing and uh, so that was already there as extended it <coughs> goes somewhere in that big pile of wire I have over there more wire Anyway, it goes down somewhere, comes back up, <coughs> excuse me, goes to my relay. Um, I also, all the relays powered right for now, that's just a, uh, that's a hot wire all the time when the battery's connected, so that comes down, goes to my relay, and what, what's my diagram over here? Oh, I did it like this, with my sloppy writing. Okay, we got key on. Uh, battery voltage all the time into 86 and 30, okay, and then 87 is, what's 87, I forget which one I hooked 87 into, hold on, it works now, but I did, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll say that one more time, shut up, where is 87, it's 85, Oh, 87. Oh, 87 is uh, going into my map lights and my mirror. Map lights this one off again because this is all spit and glue connection. This isn't finalized yet. Anyway, 87. That uh, goes into this 12 volt output. 85 is a negative. So 85 would be coming off of here. That's going to be my negative because it switches. It's positive or it's negative. So when it's negative. I get positive over here, which just corrects it, and when the door is closed, I get nothing. So the door is closed. Here, click. 
so that's pretty cool. So that works as it should. And now we have to figure out how we're going to wire all this before. Let's see, put it over here. Yeah, that's a worse, worse drawing. What I did before, I put um, ground on 85, ground on 30. Positive, which would be, I think, yeah, that was, wait, that was coming out, I think, on 86, and I had, no, 87 was always the mirror, so that was coming out. That was 86, the, uh, the dome light wire, and 87 was going to the uh, the mirror, which is a negative output. I thought that was going to work. No, that just shut it off all the time, so I screwed that up, so now we did that. Hence, I may screw up, I have this extra little ground piece I made, so I'll keep that little eyelet. So now, the question is, well, I can move this car out of here to get a little more room, the old wagon. But I can just tap into the fuse box right here and put a wire going all the way down into the dash right there. Put a fuse on it and uh, use that, something like that, and I'll split it. Not my relay underneath there. And then that's it. I just got to trim that yellow wire to size, my white wire, and route the white wire all the way down here. And then I'm done. So that's what I'm contemplating now. I know when this thing had an alarm, a couple more wires were cut underneath here, but honestly, I don't even feel like crawling underneath this dash. My back is killing me today. So uh, I might just do it the easy way, and then maybe another day I'll clean up the wire. <laughs> so I should have a sufficient amount to go from, you know, there to there, and there to underneath the dash. It's probably about the same. Oh, there's probably a battery wire somewhere in here. Not battery, I mean, yeah, well, battery wire all the time somewhere in that harness. So that's how you do it. You gotta use a relay, switches it around, and it reverses the polarity. Enough talking. And uh, helps to have a voltmeter too if you don't have any wiring diagrams. I knew the wiring diagram for this, it was basically the same. But I just wasn't going to think the mirror was going to have to be switched, but it has to be switched. So now it works, and uh, it's a minor interior disassembly. We can get this thing to work functional, functionality back, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. It's hard. It's hot in here. It's 90 degrees. So let me go finish that wiring deal. I'm going to make a video of what it looks like when it's finished and I can get rid of my ground and everything else. I'm just glad I figured it out. As you see again, I have spit and glue construction. There we go. Back on again. Wires are loose. And yeah. Works. Freaking awesome. Always, oh, another thing I like to say if anyone's new in electronics, if you've been watching this video and it confused the hell out of them, they're like, what the hell are you saying? Um, always use a fuse jumper anytime you connect stuff. So it's like that yellow wire, it's going, I mean, orange, it's going all the way down here somewhere and it's splitting and it's going back up over here. And uh, yeah, it's fused just to check it because if you pick the wrong wire, you're gonna cause some car problems and melt some stuff, and that's no fun. So, you gotta use a relay with these Gentex mirrors and an older product, because I guess on the Lincoln and the newer cars, it was it was not uh, ground controlled the uh, dome lights. Because when you turn the key off or whatever, when you turn the key off, you're gonna get positive and positive on both sides of this bulb when you have. Right now you have a positive over here and negative on that side, so it switches. So there's another relay here underneath this dash clicking. So this relay like clicks at the same time now and kind of drones it out. So that's the deal. See you later. Hope it helps someone. Like I said, I'll make a video when I fix it all up. Alright, I told you I was going to show you when I was all done. We're done. That's my relay. Well done, I'm just going to try to stash it in there somewhere, behind there, hopefully it stays, I'll tie it up, find a little hole for it, anyway, look at that, look at that, wow, look at that, look at that, zoop, 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 click, click, okay, so it works.
Um, what I did, you know, I said I was going to originally leave that wire hanging. I didn't. What I did, I clipped that blue wire. And the blue wire is up here somewhere. And I just spliced in my, my new white wire. My white wire that runs all the way up here. Dropped the headliner a little bit. Snaked it up over there. Runs back down. North. So, it's all done with that. My power kind of sucks. I'm not happy about this. I just used it right in the box. Put a fuse on it. Fuse is somewhere hiding underneath there. But I did that. There's a fuse in there. And it all comes down over there with that wiry mess. And there is my relay. So I gotta put this thing all together. I might have a push clip that might fit in one of those holes, which would be awesome. And uh, we gotta put our kick panel back on and our eight pillar and our other little parts and now this thing is ready for a two liner if I could ever find one they were like very 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 rare and I can put temperature in this shit which would be awesome so besides that those LED lights on bright and it's a cool mod I'm happy with it you see my wire cover is already crooked I have to fix that oh no oh no so Still some fine tweaking to do. Oh, look at that, my gas cage all the way full. Yeah, I disconnected the, um, the fuel pump. This gets loaded up, key on, key off, key on, key off. So I just disconnect it when I'm testing it. And my tape's already failing. My aluminum tape. So I don't know, we'll see how that works. So, that said, it's a pretty cool mod. I gotta put my relay in place. Awesome. No rust. Oh, and I'd like to add, I guess this would be a video if you're like doing an alarm or map lights. Sometimes you gotta do the same kind of stuff. You gotta switch the polarity. So, it's easy. You just gotta put some planning in it. And this actually took me a while because I was screwing out of that wire. You know, I did that and I said, no, nah, I don't like the way it looks. And then I was down here and go, no, nah, I don't like the way it looks. So I redid it and, um,. That just takes time and planning. But that's how you get a pretty nice clean install, you know, it doesn't look that bad compared to some wiring messes you see people doing. You have to do it right or don't do it at all. And we did it semi right and our relay is fused and whatnot, so it's awesome. This thing actually gets warm. What? Oh, it's not gonna work now, the key's not on. The switch does nothing. So that's it for now. It's awesome. Very happy. Cool way to spend an afternoon wiring.